Are any of them even real? Disney, is there, yeah. is there, is there real water in there? There's no water. The, hey guys, it's another adventure time at Disneyland. Oh my gosh, that was a TV show. What am I doing? Part three of everything you didn't even know you didn't know about Disneyland. Oh my gosh, I can hear fantastic music. Whee! The Disneyland Park opened in summer of 1955. A little under 50 years later, California Adventure opened just across the way in 2001. Annual passes started in 1982. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you get a picture of me with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On opening day, there were only 18 attractions. Some of those attractions that are still open today are the Jungle Cruise, King Arthur's Carousel, and Tomorrowland's Autopia. There's uh, also the Santa Fe Terrain. So people who work in the park on the rides and designing all the things are called Imagineers because they imagine and they engineer. Quick little joke, how many Imagineers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Does it have to be a light bulb? So today, all bathrooms are cleaned every hour like promptly on the hour they're clean but on opening day all the bathrooms were closed due to a plumber strike we fast pass started in 1999 with it's a small world being the first one with a fast pass you can send disney characters wedding invitations if you're getting married and you'll probably get something back in return like if you invite minnie and mickey they're probably not going to show up but they'll send you just married pins or signed pictures before this ride was star tours it was adventure through inner space and it had the very first hidden mickey in the entire park in the place of a water molecule when you would ride the ride you would see it and you would go inside the water molecule uh, according to rumors there is a c3po in the queuing area that is the exact costume used in the star wars movie and if the rumors are actually true, that would mean that that costume would be a gold-plated costume due to the fact that they needed a reflective surface when they were filming in the desert. Walt Disney specifically planned so that all trash cans would be at least 25 feet minimum away from hot dog stands because that was the amount of time it took for him to eat a hot dog. It's a Small World was designed by a woman named Mary Blair who's kind of fabulous and so they try to stay true to her inside and outside with the colors and the design patterns. All the music also was written by the Sherman Brothers. Yay, Sherman Brothers. Happy 50th birthday, it's a small world. Oh yeah. Back in the year 2000, in Toontown, a Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, there was a child named Brandon who got fatally injured as he got dragged under one of the cars. This caused Disney to change all their regulations and safety. Originally, they had it where they would call a main line and then they would call 911 from that main line. Now, they call the main line after they call 911 first. This also changed the regulations for cars because they had no doors on the cars. Now, they have doors on all the cars and better seatbelts. The Enchanted Tiki Room was the first ride to have audio animatronics. You ready for story time? According to uh, this rumor that I heard, when Walt Disney uh, would walk around his park, he had his grandchildren there, and his grandson would go around and ride his favorite rides without any supervision. During the time that his favorite ride was the Jungle Cruise, he decided he wanted to go behind the scenes and get and be a part of the ride. He went and started dancing with the aboriginals that were dancing around in the little ride. You know, the little audio animatronics? Oh, fun times. The cast members deciding to like see this were like, oh, Mr. Disney, your grandchild is in the Jungle Cruise. It's kind of a problem because he's scaring the guests because they're like, oh dear lord, there's a child in this ride. So Mr. Disney, being the wonderful man that he was, got away from his what he was doing, went, got in line at Jungle Cruise like an old person, got all the way up to the front. Everyone's like, oh, Mr. Disney, Mr. Disney. He's like, yeah, hi, it's me, hi. Got his own boat, went all the way around. When he got to the part where the people were dancing, he stood up, looked at his grandchild, and his grandchild knew he was in big trouble, called him, got out of the ride, and that was the end of that story. Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle is based off of the Bavarian Castle New Schwestein, or however you say it. I don't know how to say it. Though when it was originally built, the top was backwards because Walt Disney thought that the other direction looked too realistic and he wanted it to have a fantasy feel and so that the engineers flipped it around. Surrounding the water of the castle are juniper bushes because they are the only plants that swans will not eat. Voice of the countdown person is Neil Patrick Harris on Screamin'. What? Hey guys, so that was it for my day three for three of everything you didn't even know about Disneyland. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks. You just watch Lazar and Dink. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. If you seem to like my groove, hit subscribe and improve your mood. The sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalibratulous, it's the allodocious. <laughs>